G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at Divisible by 3, uh, the puzzle for the 29th of September uh, by Clover. Uh, Clover's one of our sellers here at Gas HQ, so am I. My name is Bill Murphy. G'day, how you doing? Um, yeah, uh, I'm losing my mind. Uh, it's, I'm losing my mind. Um, hey, you all had to memorize a long list of stuff. How would you do it? Drop your uh, comments in the, uh, drop your uh, suggestions in the comments below. Um, but that being said, I'm just going to get into this. Uh, this, uh, we are gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the person watching this. You will find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times, two hats for a very fast time, one hats for a pretty fast time, and everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Uh, that being said, I'm going to get into it. So let's do it. So. This is divisible by three. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. Uh, within each outline three by three, oh, so what that means is uh, each box, each column, and each row must contain the divs one to nine once each. Now, uh, within each outline three by three region, all sets of three adjacent digits in a straight, horizontal or vertical line must have a sum that is divisible by three. Uh, oi, oi, oi. Uh, okay. So I haven't solved this puzzle before. I'm just going to let y'all know that one. Um, I do know what's up. Uh, I instantly know what's up here. Uh, we could call it this. It would be very funny if I call it this, but, um, uh, la, 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 la. uh, where was I? Um, so, uh, okay, so, um, within each outlined region, all sets of three adjacent digits in a straight, horizontal, or vertical line must have a sum that is divisible by three. Uh, for instance, row one, column one, two, three, so these three digits have a sum that is divisible by three. And so do row four, five, six, column seven. So that is these ones. Uh, this rule does not apply to digits that were not within the same region. Um, so yeah, that's actually it. That's all you need to know to solve today's puzzle. Um, and uh, yeah, that being said, I'm going to get into it now. Let's do it. So uh, let's look at the top box. So one and two. Uh, so one and two have to be, uh, is make three, three and six make nine. So three and nine are both divisible by nine. So whatever I add in here has to be already divisible by three itself. That has to be a nine. Now this is four, uh, five, seven. Now six is divisible. Uh, so six is divisible by three. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to explain this puzzle. I want to color it. Okay. Try to figure out if I, I'm genuinely trying to figure out if I want to color this puzzle. Um, Cause I, I know that this is one, four, eight, and this is five and eight. And I'm trying to figure out if that's what I want to do. Uh, all right. Uh, let's come down here. Uh, eight and four make 12, seven and five make 12. So I need to add something that's divisible by three. This is three right here. Uh, this is five, six, and seven. Uh, one and six make sevens. Oh, actually, no, uh, let's, yeah, let's go up here. So, uh, two and five make seven, uh, three and four make seven. So I need to add something, uh, which is going to get both of these, uh, to a total that is, sorry. Oh, uh, sorry. I, it's not that I'm struggling to solve this puzzle. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to explain this one. So, uh, what we are trying, I'm going to highlight them. All right, let's do it. One, four, seven. I mean that this has to be, I'm going to make that green. Uh, two, five, and eight, uh, pink and three, six and nine must be purple uh, oh uh orange sorry 
So, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's, I think that's what I want to do. Um, sorry, you are actually seeing my uh, my brain process this in real time. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna I've just noticed some easier stuff, so I'm gonna do the easier stuff first. Uh, two in this corner goes there. Uh, this must be a six. Four, uh, one and nine to place. Uh, four and two make six, so that has to be nine. That has to be one. Uh, now, is there anything else easier before I cheap out? All right. So uh, the reason why I colored those specific ones is. If that is, if you divided that, uh, if you divided any of the green numbers by three, you'd have a remainder of one. If you divided any of the uh, gr pink numbers by three, you'd have a remainder of two. And if you divided any of the orange numbers by three, you would have a remainder of zero. So uh, what that means is here, two and five mean that this has, so two and five need to, uh, Plus two, so plus two, plus two, making four. Uh, four divided by one, uh, four divided by three leaves me with a remainder of one. So I need something which will give me a remainder of two in there. So I actually know that that must be eight. Uh, and you can double check it this way. Four and three make seven plus eight goes there. Uh, now, one, and, so this is a remainder of one, remainder of zero. So I need something with a remainder of two. Can't be five, can't be eight, must be two. Uh, like that. Now, uh, I have four, eight, and nine along here. Uh, this is one, four, and seven along here. Uh, any of those will resolve that, so that's fine. Now, uh, plus two. Yeah, plus, yeah, I'm going to keep using, I'm going to keep using this logic because this is the one that makes sense to me. So, this has a remainder of two. Uh, oh, I'm going to keep my coloring making sense uh and also i can maybe use coloring later if i uh now uh so along here uh remainder of zero remainder of two so this has to have a remainder of one this can only be four uh i i'll say it right now if i have an ex oh uh that's actually i think if i haven't explained this one super great Please let me know in the comments. Uh, I will try and explain it better via text, I guess. Uh, one and two make three. Uh, so that has a remainder of zero. Whatever I put in here also has to have a remainder of zero. So that has to be six. It's six out of there. Uh, over here, one, five, and six. Uh, oh, interesting. Uh, oy. I just have that via Sudoku, one and six. Uh, I'm going to keep my coloring going uh, because it's pretty. All right. Now, uh, what do I have over here? Uh, this is a 3-5 pair. This is 8 and 4. So this is 8 and 4. Oy, oy, oy. 8 and 4. So uh, when I do my coloring again, pink and green. Now, uh, Remainder of two, remainder of one. So this has to have a remainder of zero. This is three, then five. All right, and now this is one and five across here. This is three and seven. The three is gonna come down here. Three, seven, take seven out. Uh, I've probably made a, uh, I probably made a mess of explaining this one, but I hope that it makes a little bit more sense. All right. Uh, so, uh, do I have enough to do that top box yet? No, not yet. Uh, so this is one, six, nine, and seven. Take six out. Ah, one and one. Yeah, I've got it now. So that has to be a one, which is a green. Now, that what? yeah, <laughs> confirming what I thought that was going to be over there. Remainder of one, remainder of one. I need something with a remainder of one. Uh, so that has to be seven, which makes that nine and six. Uh, four, one, and seven come, uh, okay, we can take the, uh, that becomes a seven, that becomes four, that becomes five, that becomes an eight. Uh, I will keep my coloring going. 
All right. Uh, this is, I don't think I actually, I don't think I need to keep my coloring going anymore. I think I just have enough digits to solve this puzzle. Not, oh, uh, nine and six. Uh, this is four and nine. This is two and seven, uh, seven and two. Uh, that is green and, uh, pink. Now, uh, Remainder of two, remainder of zero means that this has to have a remainder of one, making that the four and this the nine. Uh, this is four and eight across here. And now if I come down here, this is uh, four and three. I can just do that with Sudoku. Uh, eight and nine. Uh, this is four and nine. Now if I keep my coloring going, uh, both of those are orange, that is pink, that is green. Remainder of one, remainder of zero means this has to have a remainder of two. So that is pink, five and seven. Now over here is two and seven, seven and two, uh, which unwinds one, four, seven, eight, four, uh, nine and eight, five and eight, and this is five, Nine and one, and then five and one. That was not my most clean explanation of a puzzle in existence, but uh, hang on, we it's very important. If you color like this much of the grid, you gotta you gotta do the rest of it. Uh, orange and pink, perfect. All right. That has been Visible by Three by from Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy. Uh, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I will catch you next time. Cheers.